I've been noticing a new sunscreen trend that I did not see coming, although I should have because it started making an appearance this time last year. It is in full force this year and it's a trend that I can get on board with. Parents, this video is especially for you. It is time to change how sunscreen is viewed. Sunscreen doesn't have to be boring, doesn't have to be icky. We're gonna change the next generation. We're gonna prevent skin cancer or at least that's the goal on this channel. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel and also wearing sunscreen. What trend am I talking about? And let me know if you've noticed this below or if you are also hopping on the trend because we're just seeing touches and I think it's only going to gain momentum while Disney is now involved in this big sunscreen trend, which I'm on board for. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen, the Disney The Little Mermaid print. To help promote the new Little Mermaid movie, Disney partnered with Black Girl Sunscreen and put this in Ulta. <laughs> I had to grab one for myself. I've never tried this sunscreen before and I wanted to support the movie. I wanted to support that little girls can look at Ariel and now girls of all colors can imagine themselves as a mermaid princess. <laughs> little Mermaid was one of my favorite movies as a child growing up. So here is the trend, making sunscreen fun again. Making sunscreen fun to appeal to children and preteens and teens and make it easier ultimately for us parents to apply sunscreen on our children. Like us, kids don't like to wear sunscreen, but if we start it early, then we can hopefully build a habit that will last them a lifetime and save them future surgeries, future skin cancer, help their skin age slower. Now my son, I wasn't as religious about putting sunscreen on him. I was diagnosed with melanoma two years ago, so I am new. I know, I put sunscreen on, but I didn't reapply it. So with my daughter, I have a five-year-old, we are religiously putting rain or shine, we put sunscreen on the both of us. The Black Girl sunscreen is moisturizing, it's all chemical UV filters, SPF 30. It does smell a bit like a pool float when you put it on, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So there's no added fragrance, it's very moisturizing. It feels so nice on the skin, no white cast on all skin tones no white cast. Yeah, it's really nice. My daughter and I have been enjoying it. This is an underrated sunscreen in my opinion. And get it in the fun Disney print. They have them at Ulta. All right, so this is just one example of the fun trend. Last year I noticed a trend to put glitter or extra shimmer in sunscreen. I tried out the Copper Tone Glow Shimmer. I'm gonna scoot over so I can pop up some pictures right here. And personally, it was too much glitter for me. <laughs> It's a chemical sunscreen. I am not a highly glitter person, but I used it up on my daughter and she loved the glitter shimmer. But I'm seeing trends taking off even more. Last year also, I'm pretty sure was when Unicorn Snot came out. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Bio glitter sunscreen, biodegradable with shimmer. Now I have not tried this one. It is water resistant, SPF 30, reef friendly, vegan, cruelty friendly, unicorn snot. <laughs> and kids love unicorns, right? Unicorns, holographic, sparkly, shiny glitter, unicorn princesses. We can get on board with that. This year I saw pop up another mermaid sunscreen option called Sea Star Sparkle. Now this one I originally saw on the Nordstrom app. I then saw it on Amazon. Mermaid Glitter Sunscreen Lotion. It comes in several scents. The one here pictured is the Watermelon Lemon Scent. I am so curious to try these. Water resist to 80 minutes, no animal testing, reef safe, 3.4 fluid ounces, eco-friendly biodegradable glitter. This one is SPF 50. So I think this is a great option if you are looking for some sparkle and some fun for your child or yourself. Did you know Crayola also has a fun sunscreen, glitter sunscreen, SPF 50, water resistant 80 minutes, reef safe, no animal testing, eco-friendly biodegradable glitter as well. So I'm glad to see that. This one also is the Jazzberry Jam Scented. We're seeing scented along with glitter and colors to make sunscreen fun. So I first ran across this Zinc Stick Pink, Blue, Yellow, Green SPF 50 Sun Zapper on Amazon. This is made in Australia, water resistant, 
adults and kids. It's all zinc. So I'm thinking old school where you just saw on, on the, right here on the bridge of the nose. <laughs> You know, but I ran across someone who was putting it all over their face and having fun with it. And I think it's a brilliant idea. If you're, especially if your child likes to draw on themselves, put like a coat of regular sunscreen on them and then give them sun sticks to draw on themselves with if you're going to the beach or the pool or just to Target. Now, I had never heard of the Sun Zapper brand. However, I have heard of Bear Republic. They have sun sticks that are in colors. You've got punk rock pink, goblin green, and electric blue, three pack neon fun screen sticks, SPF 50, water resistant 80 minutes, non nano zinc oxide. Again, fun for beach days, fun for decorating, make designs, but I would caution, unless you're gonna put a very thick <laughs> neon pink screened in face, I would suggest putting a base layer and then bribing your children that they can draw on themselves with the fun sticks as sort of a treat after applying full coverage sunscreen. Now, Bear Republic also has another fun sunscreen. I would think this one would appeal to teens or adults called Diamond Dust. It's mineral, it has a diamond dust shimmer, SPF 30, free of chemical UV filters, water resistant for 40 minutes, has a holographic shimmer. Do you remember the Kinship I reviewed last year that was like a galaxy shine on your face? On your face? I'm thinking maybe holographic shimmer is along the same lines. Let me know if you've tried any of these. I've been tempted to purchase, but then I think, will I actually use these? We are headed to the beach in about a month, and I'm wondering if I should pick up the fun color ones that my daughter might like to draw on her body and her face while we're at the pool. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen and have fun applying it. 